English Terriers, with their hardiness and their intelligence and their courage, were hugely popular as war dogs in the trenches during the Great War. There are letters that were written by the person who trained them all and set up the training scheme for the dogs. Lieutenant Colonel Richardson and um, he wrote some very charming letters saying that no creature on earth could go further on a bowl of army biscuits than an Irish terrier and he gave them the great accolade of the daredevils which really came to be something that, that we've had to rather live down because people say oh Irish terriers daredevils, red devils, well, he meant it to be the greatest compliment that one soldier could pay to another. They did everything in the trenches, from catching rats, wonderful companions for the men, played football, could go through barbed wire, sentry patrol dogs, they went out with the stretcher bearers, they were guard dogs, wonderful guard dogs, marvellous sense of hearing, very, very honed senses they have. They have a double a coat, which is a hairy one on the outside to keep them dry, and a nice fluffy one underneath to keep them warm. So they were perfect for the trenches. The one thing they couldn't do very well was run messages, and Colonel Richardson has written in one of his pieces that they were far too inclined to stop and talk to friends, old, new, or imaginary. <laughs> Far too convivial was what he said. <laughs> the first thing people say is, did they run messages? And I have to say, well, actually, that was the one thing they weren't very good at. <laughs> but they did everything else, and they were dearly, dearly loved by the men. And there is, of course, this incredible story of one that shipped himself to France from Southampton by himself, got onto a troop ship and found his master in the trenches, and this is very well documented, and Colonel Richardson used to say, heaven knows how he managed. We never hear the end of the story, so I think rather sadly they might have died together in the trenches. I have to say too, with our great pride, the Irish Terrier community collected a great deal of money for the Animal War Memorial in London's Park Lane, which is very beautiful, very moving. We are there every year, with a little band of mixes all standing with our poppy wreaths. <laughs>